This is the Vegan Anarchist, and in this video is about why Hillary and Trump are both turds. Let's do it! The Vegan Anarchist! Anyways, we of all 310 million or over 300 million Americans, it all came down to these two financial aristocrats. One of them is a business style gangster. Business gangster who made money off of swindling, scamming, mafias, going bankruptcy and running the door, stiffing. And the other one, Hillary Clinton. The one who's been taking money, billions of dollars. You. You should change your mind because of it money, rigging the system because she's been paid off. The difference is they're both the establishment, contrary to what Trump supporters or Trump wants you to think. The truth is, there's not very much different from the person who pays the politician and the person who is the politician being paid off. Because in the end of the day, they both serve the fi the fine the financial aristocracy, the bourgeoisie, the capitalist class who are making money while they just go down or stagnate, whatever. Ugh. They both suck, they reek. They're both racist. Trump made racist comments like Mexicans being rapists and you know all those comments. But Trump also made comments about super predators. And the thing about Trump's racism versus Hillary's racism is Trump's racism, you see, you know he's racist. You know because he says racist crap. Hillary, they, she pretends to be your friend so you can use you for votes and when it's convenient, whoopow, you're stabbing your back. They're running all over the place. Taking advantage, they both take advantage, they both use a similar tax code, they take advantage of every citizen, come massing their personal wealth at the expense of the population. They're both, they're both frauds. Trump the billionaire is just, wouldn't be anywhere what he is today if it weren't for his dad and the fact he and his dad rigged the system by paying off people like Hillary. In fact, oh, Trump, look, he's going to fix a problem because he was there and he, you're like, really, you really expect a guy whose reason why he stole a billionaire, well, so-called billionaire, because he manipulated the system? You really think he's going to like, oh, let me just, do you really think you really trust him to the guy who benefited and went and still around because he's this is so rigged? Would you trust him to unrig it? It's like having a fox telling you I will protect the hen house because I know what the hens are, what how the foxes get them. And then if you know you get the fox in there and the fox ain't the hen house. That got down, that's what Trump is. Trump is the establishment. Hillary's still establishment. No end and a bunch of gangsters. Trump made deals with the mafia. Trump said all those bad things and, and did all those bad things and screw pe uh, people over. But Hillary, because of her intervention, she has destroyed entire countries like Libya and Honduras, which are still damaged to this day. And in fact, a lot of people from Honduras are coming here because of their Cushy Help sponsor support. The board war hogs, you know, Hillary, the Trump says to do war crimes. Hillary, by, it, may I say it, but she's been essentially per, okay and been doing war crimes. Just, the, the more light than they are different. And I, and trust me, and you no know one who was born with a silver spoon, who has that much money, Donald Trump would actually give a crap about you. He won't give a damn. You really don't think, you, we all know, a lot of people know that Hillary used her money, pull office for money, she does her 
her husband Bill Clinton done that. That's her whole family does make money off of offices, just corruption. But Trump, you don't think he's gonna do the same thing? No! He's gonna use that money to enrich himself! He's gonna use his presidency to make himself cha-ching! Cause he's a capitalist! That's what he's supposed to do! In essence, in essence, I'm gonna say something bold and and, 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 and people are going to be mad and pissed at me for saying it, but Trump and Hillary are both equally crap. They're both equally crap. Both equally. Both of them are crap. In fact, not only I say both of them are crap, but in fact, a pot and equal pot, but in fact, even if they're not equal, it's not worth talking about it because you know what Trump is going to do. And second of all, you wouldn't know that it wouldn't even matter if they're not the same because it's gonna, either way, we're going to have the most reactionary, anti-labor, more warmongering. We're going to have a best establishment at worst. Just imagine corporations ruling the country like they do and always do with, with an iron fist. And Trump, you see, has pissed off so many members of his of Congress, including the Speaker of the House, people, all sorts of senators and congressmen. He's not gonna be able to get anything passed unless he sucks up to the establishment. Trump has been gaining advice from warmongering neocons. And then Hillary gets endorsed by warmongering neocons. Because they both want to bomb Syria. The vice president in the debate both agree at escalating the Syrian war, which basically is destroying that country of Syria. Then the U.S. and then even worse, the U.S. helped instigate that war. No! That is not what you do. Lesser to evil is still evil, and they have chosen a lesser to evil for the whole American history. What have that has got us? Not it got us. It got, look, it got us this bad spot, and you've been ripped off, because you know what? It's not. It is not. It is not a. It is more of a threat. When it when the bourgeoisie pays off both sides, or one side and it pays off the other side, when they give you those choices, they're threatening you. They're saying you have no choice but to vote for the lesser to evil. And then you get swindled! <laughs> because if that's what the lesser to evil argument people who chose to argue that that's what they're supporting, you get swindled. And then and then, and then let's go about Bernie Sanders. Bernie Sanders sold out completely with his big mansion, and now he's shilling for a hill. And I told you so. He's like every you crap politician, but people gave me crap for it. Well, I was right, and you were wrong. And that guy campaigned for the person who was the epitome of what he was campaigning against, Hillary. Hillary might as well be a Republican. The boy, Trump and Hillary are both sophists, sophists. They're both going to get rip you off. They both serve the same masters, the capitalist class. At Trump, he is himself a capitalist, but he's probably going to suck up to other capitalists. He's he has admitted he's probably going to get a VP to do actual governing. He's probably going to just be a figurehead. That's what it is. Which means that Mike Pence might get on her. Oh boy, that guy's a creationist, man. Screw that kind of crap. But the truth is, we don't need these monsters. When you go up to the polls, you vote for one of these two. You're only encouraging them. In fact, when you vote at all, even if it's for Jill Stein or whatever, the fact you vote shows your alleged, you, gives you a system of illusion of you consenting to it. The truth is, is 
It says boycott the election and start organizing. Organizing our neighbors, our fellow co-workers, our community, and together we will do it. We will take what's ours. We need to see the means of production to get back with the wages and the jobs. Because when the means of production are seized, they will need a job because guess what? Your needs will be met. Yeah. And you actually, and you know what? It is, you can choose, even if, even if the choice can win, all sorts of stuff, but the one choice you don't have in this election is the choice of no masters, of true freedom, true equality, true liberty, solidarity. They can't find it, but you know where you can find it? Anarchism. So boycott the election, boycott, Organize, agitate, organize, agitate, organize, and fight. Agitate, organize, agitate, educate, and organize. We must fight back. Whether it is Mexico, or whether it's multinational companies shipping their jobs overseas, or, or the oil pipeline that, and the Dakota pipeline that Hillary's been silent about because she took fossil fuel company money. Instead of having people like Trump pit the American working class with all the other working class in the world in a trade war, we must unite with our brothers around the world. The working man. The working man. No more politicians. We and the people will decide for ourselves. And, and, you know what? I implore you all looking at anarchism. The solution is not the ballot box. The solution is in ourselves. Our dreams do not fit in ballot boxes. And you really think Chiller's going to get those trade jobs back? And not trade jobs, but those jobs back? When she's been basically taking money from, and from corporations and was pro TPP before she even. And then when, and when she came out, she said, I want to guess it. There's a lot of trade deals. She changed her mind. And it's Trump, well, he benefited off of it. And all Trump is is just trumped up, trickle down economics with a little coding of protectionism. Same crap that got us here. And if you're Bernie Sanders supporters, you already don't don't vote for Hillary Trump because then you really got fooled. Well, if you vote for Trump, you obviously don't know what the hell's going on. If you vote for Hillary, what the hell, man? What the hell? Trump is just I mean, Bernie Sanders is just a sheepdog. And Bernie Sanders supporters I wouldn't even suggest you vote for Jill Stein. I suggest you boycott the election and organize and strike back. This is the vegan anarchist. If you like my videos, please like and subscribe and share it. No me, no milk, no masses. See ya. Don't wanna be ya.